After a VPG has been created, you can go into it and edit any of the settings. To edit a VPG, navigate to the VPGs tab in the ZVM. Select the VPG and click More and Edit VPG. The VPG wizard will appear. Please note that if you change the default value for a setting in the Replication or Recovery tabs in a VPG, it will only affect new VMs that are added to the VPG and not existing VMs. A warning box will appear in these instances. Click OK. Click VM Settings to make changes to the VMs already protected in the VPG. Once the changes have been made, click Done. To add or remove a VM in a VPG, edit the VPG and navigate to the VMs tab in the VPG wizard. To add a VM, select the VMs in the Unprotected VMs list or from the Advanced list and move it to the Selected VMs list. To remove a VM, select a VM from the Selected VMs list and use the left facing arrow to move it back to the Unprotected VMs list. When removing a VM, you will have the option to either keep or discard the recovery disks for that VM. If saved, the recovery disks could then be used for preceding if the VM is ever re-added to the VPG. After adding a VM to a VPG, a checkpoint will be inserted in the journal and the new VM will be synced with the recovery site. While that VM is syncing, the existing VMs in the VPG will continue to be protected as usual. The existing VMs will not be resynced all over again. In order to free up bandwidth, you may pause a VPG. Pausing a VPG means that new changes to the applications or data in the VPG will not be sent to the target site. However, you can still recover to the latest checkpoint should you need to. Navigate to the VPGs tab in the ZVM, select the VPGs, click More, and click Pause to pause replication. When you are ready to resume replication for a VPG, navigate back to the VPGs tab, select the paused VPG, click More, and Resume. When a VM is reverted to a previous snapshot, it may cause the protected VM's RPO to increase. This may trigger a delta sync or require a force sync, which is a manually initiated delta sync. To force sync a VPG, navigate to the VPGs tab of the ZVM. Select the VPG, click More, and Force Sync. A MD5 checksum will be completed of the VPG's data on both the source and target disks. The noted changes will be sent over to the replica disk on the target site. To delete a VPG, navigate to the VPG's tab in the ZVM. Select the VPG, and click More, and Delete. A warning box will appear and ask you if you want to keep the recovery disks at the peer site when deleting the VPG. This setting is automatically selected and if you later add a VPG using the same VMs, you can use these disks to precede the data, meaning an initial sync would not be needed. Unselect this checkbox if you would like to remove the recovery disks at the peer site. Click the Delete button to delete the VPG.